It's another big day in the UK's ongoing Brexit saga. With no withdrawal deal yet agreed, MPs are now lining up to steer the country in one direction or another. They've put forward 14 amendments, not all will be selected, before a vote on Prime Minister Theresa May's own plans to move things along. There are two which have gained traction, one by Labour's Yvette Cooper, who wants to rule out a no-deal by extending Article 50, which Brexiteers are against, and a second one by Conservative Graham Brady. He's calling for the controversial Northern Ireland backstop to be replaced. May's government is now said to be backing this idea. There's an opportunity to move from a situation where the withdrawal agreement went down to that crashing defeat uh, with a relatively minor change because all sides uh, say the backstop, if indeed it is ever used, must only ever be very temporary. Uh, so if it's going to be no more than a temporary backstop, let's make it clear and explicit that it could never be permanent. The trouble is, it's unclear if any of the amendments can command a majority in the House of Commons, which is why some prefer delaying Brexit. We do need time. Uh, I think the EU will not unreasonably say uh, we will give you an extension for a specific purpose. I think we've got to be clear that our objective is to agree a deal that can command the support of a majority of MPs. We've got to be upfront with the EU about what that deal would look like. As May plots a path out of the Brexit impasse, the European Union has a message. Britain needs to decide what it really wants, but the bloc insists the negotiated deal which was flung out by the UK's MPs will not be reopened. And there's been a warning from the EU's deputy chief negotiator who says there's a high risk the UK will unintentionally crash out of Europe. Whatever happens, the next time Theresa May returns to the EU, she'll be hoping to convince the bloc if they offer some wriggle room, namely on the backstop, she will get her deal through Parliament. It's a big if, but it means that the Brexit ball will then be in Brussels court. Evening Laverick, Euronews.